you know, this place out. That's probably how it should have been. You know? <laughs> not, on, not on a, a walk-off home run, but a walk-off walk. You know, how about that? So it was, a, it was an entertaining game. It wasn't as cleanly played as we'd like it to be. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get those in the midweek. And, uh, you know, Kansas State's a good club. They just beat Oklahoma two out of three over the weekend. So, you know, we got a lot of things to work on, but I'm pleased with how the kids hung in there and hung in there for uh, nine innings. I kind of feel like in a game like this, as long as you don't give up the big inning, it's kind of a bend but don't break type game. Well, you just felt from about the fifth inning on it was going to go back and forth. And these are the games where you want to be the home team. You just felt like it was going to come down to the last inning, and uh, and it certainly did. But, you know, we would have liked to have closed it off in the top of the ninth, but, you know, that's, a, that's an area that we got to clean up a little bit. Did the thoughts of this being the last game go through your mind throughout the game at all? No, not really. You know, we, we I thought about it maybe just for five minutes before the game. And, and uh, but it's time. I, I've said that for the last week or so. It's time for us to get to the new venue. It's time for us to uh, move the program forward. And, and uh, I think the new building's going to allow us to do that. So do you? You got but Joey Button all the way up there when yeah. he comes in. Yeah, Joe was going to. Uh, Joe's very good at the safety squeeze, and, and I don't like the safety squeeze with the bases loaded because it's too easy of a play at the plate. Right. But I was counting on his ability to throw it down the line here and put some pressure on them. It was going to keep us out of the double play situation. It was going to get Mike Mutchinson up at the plate. Mike's one of our better hitters. So I just thought the positives outweighed the uh, negatives, but we were, we were safety squeezing from the first pitch to the 3 2 pitch. How excited are, are you for your guys to get into that, you know, state of the art facility next week? Well, you know, we got a big, we got a big series this weekend at Indiana State, so we don't, excuse me, we don't, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but, uh, I think at this time, when uh, when Monday rolls around after our weekend series with Indiana State, I think you're going to see a, some some of the juices flow in these guys pretty pretty readily. So uh, uh, they'll be ready to play come next Tuesday. But in the meantime, we got a huge huge uh, weekend at Indiana State. Having said that, this place you had a 77 percent winning percentage here. I mean, overall, it's been pretty good to you for the most part. You think? It's been real good. You know, uh, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe maybe the Teams coming in get a little spooked by the outfield and the fast pace of the game. When the ball gets in the outfield, our kids are more accustomed to it. But we have played uh, some uh, very good baseball here. And anytime you can win 77% of your games uh, in a ballpark, that's that's a lot for baseball. That's a high, high number. So um, <clears throat> we have played very well here. We've had some good teams, and you know we've had a couple seasons where we only lost one or two games here. So those were those were big seasons for us. Was it good to see at least once or twice the curse of this complex? Uh... Well, I don't think you're going to you know, really put it to sleep without a couple high bounces on the outfield, <laughs> without a couple skips past an outfielder, without a, you know six errors in a game. I think Kansas State's probably a little disappointed in how they defended it like we today. I can't remember last time we committed three errors in a game. So I guess it's fitting in a lot of ways that this is a challenging field to play on. And uh, you could tell that today, especially in the outfield, that uh, K-State was having some issues. Seems like such, such a long time ago, but you did get four good innings out of Brandon. You know what? It does seem like a long time ago, <laughs> Steve, but you are right. We're real encouraged by what Brandon did today. He threw a lot of strikes. This is a good hitting ball club, and, and I was concerned coming into the game because they were stacked with left-hand hitters, and he did a nice job. So we appear to have Greg Halleck going a little bit with two good starts in a row. Now we got Brandon, and he'll get another opportunity next Tuesday to pitch. And... Uh, if we can get him started and, and make tweak our bullpen a little bit, you know, I, I like this club a lot. Winkleman just ran out of juice there. Or? Well, you know, um, <clears throat> he made a bad decision on a 3-2 pitch. You know, we should never have thrown a breaking ball on a 3-2 pitch to walk the leadoff hitter. And, right. and uh, like I told Mark after the game, I'd rather see them get a hit. I think a walk creates more momentum for an offense than a base hit does. It's just something about a walk where the team feels like. Hey, they, this guy. This guy doesn't believe he can complete this game. He doesn't believe he can finish this game. We had that batter one too. Right. There's no way we were walking that bat. You know, and, and if he gets a base hit, he gets a base hit, and then we just kind of lost our poise a little bit, left the ball up. And today, left field was the place to hit it. And, uh, but we still have a lot of confidence in Mark. He's still one of our better guys. We just got to make a better decision on a on a pitch selection. He he shook off a fastball to go to his curveball. I don't think that was probably the right decision in that, in that situation. So do you expect to call from Cooperstown for like, the last lineup card? The last lineup card, maybe they want home plate. Uh, maybe they want the pitcher's mound. Or better yet, maybe they want a piece of the outfield turf. <laughs> that, would, that would be pretty. <laughs>